It's hot, it's fresh, and it's always trending right here on the spotlight. Welcome, my name is Corey, the host, and as always, I got the real stuff on what's happening to your celebrities. Well, let's go ahead and start up with a story making headlines right about now, and it's about the one and only winning Waji. Yes, the star diva, the dance hall queen, who can give us tunes and beat after beat. This gorgeous star has just come out and dropped something fresh for all her fans, and she calls it the best of winning Waji. Now, this brand new album is actually going to be one of the best things we're going to enjoy through this COVID because truth be told, the best of Wien Waji is literally a combination of all the songs that you have ever listened and heard and of course some freshness of Wien Waji. Now you know what to do, rush ahead and grab it and make sure you tell me how you enjoyed it because truth be told, I did love every song on that particular album of the best of Wien Waji. Now think about new brand new albums, we're also having the one and only GNL Zamba. Now GNL Zamba has to come out and dropped a brand new album called Spear. And of course, in this album, he's going ahead to showcase his talent, look the floor, and much more. And in between there, he's actually showcasing that he is being the god of rap and still doing it on the best way ever. Now, right here on Face TV, as always, I told you we do what? You got a music all day, every day. I'll definitely keep you posted because GNL say that he's very, very angry and he does not want any bloggers to go ahead and download and share his album without his knowledge mm -mm -mm. right there you put some copyright and of course we're a bit scared but then you know what the moment the song is good we'll definitely get a play for you right here on face tv but anyway sitting away from that something quite interesting that i do love that actually happened yesterday was the way so many celebrities came together to celebrate the one and only Shiba Karunji's birthday. But as they did that, man, apparently Poppy was also in the area. But of course, the diva did not only stop at that. She also went ahead and showed how much she has worked so hard and why 31 years is just the best thing that she had to celebrate. And of course, in between that, that's when we got to know a lot about Shiba Karunji. She got to say that she owns the red, you know, the hotel where that thing happened. Definitely, she says she owns it. And of course, she also showcased her holic parts and so much more. Isn't she just a boss lady? Oh my god, we do love that fact. But anyway, stepping away from that, as some people are celebrating, well, some people are a bit sad. And this is the one and only Bad Black. Now, Bad Black has come out to share something with her fans. Now, we all know most times when you are watching Bad Black's videos, you're going to get shocked. You're going to be like, what? Like, seriously? Is she a mom? You know, all those questions. But guess what? This shocker has also shocked Bad Black herself. Because Bad Black is saying that the guy she's dating, the toy boy apparently, is her uncle. Oh my God, they are related. Can you imagine? Now, Bad Black went ahead and shared this on her Snapchat. And in between there, she was literally being very bold and saying, oh my God, I feel so sad. But again, she's calling him Bae. She's calling him Boo. But now she says, you know what? She's going to start calling him Uncle E. Koja. <laughs> Quite crazy, but so true. But that is Bad Black for you. Well, as Bad Black is also coming out to say some craziness right there, some people are coming out with apologies. And that is the one and only Aganaga. Now, Khalifa Aganaga has come out to say something because he's preparing himself for a concert that is going to be putting at the end of this month but as preparing for that concert he also come out to apologize and kindly ask the fans you know especially the bobby wine supporters he's come out to say something by saying Vanage Moon so you please forgive me because should be told yes I did a song for Sevo but you know what my concert is there and please do not go ahead and hate me just because I love someone else man it's a bit crazy so the question is are we really going to go for this concert are we really going to watch it online are we really going to support him you know anyway I'll leave that up to you so if you're Sevo or if you're you know <laughs> Bobby Wine it's up to you now tell me about Bobby Wine now Bobby Wine has actually gone ahead and still showed his love and the fight for these elections and of course he goes strong and one thing I like about it is that he keeps all the posts on social media he's keeping it real and we get to see all the updates but as keeping it all the updates we also have the one and only John Katumba who is also coming out to say something now we all know this presidential candidate is just one of those guys for a minute he's like a comedian then again he's not a comedian you know because of the time he posted about him saying that he has already won the election with 75 percent and we're like what for real like seriously 75 percent can you do the math kindly <laughs> But of course, John has also come out to say something, and this time he says that he's going to put an airport in West Nile. Like, seriously, an airport in West Nile? Like, <laughs> can you be 
to imagine an airport in West Nile. Well, that's what he promised the people of West Nile. But let's wait and see if you'll actually make it there. But anyway, talking about a little beef, we're having some beef mushroom and it's big. It's about tough beef and baby cool. But of course, I'm still digging. Huh? I'll keep you posted on that one. But thanks for keeping it right here on the spotlight. I remain Corey the house for now. Bye-bye.